Hey Siri, Alexa, hello Google. Every time you use your credit card or interact online, AI is all around us and with it, privacy concerns. I had the chance to sit down with the UAE's Minister for Artificial Intelligence at the AI Everything Conference here in, in Dubai. I asked him whether or not we should be concerned about the level of data being collected around us that is enabling the rise of AI. Listen in. Technology has always been better than us in doing certain things. The first people who saw the steam engine and who saw uh, locomotives that were able to transfer people, transport people from one place to another were frightened by the capability because we used to use our legs. Today what's being augmented is our intelligence. I think over time the more we use it, and we have been using AI for a long period of time now, we've been using it in the platforms that are becoming world leaders like Google and Facebook and others, we're using it in self-driving cars or semi-autonomous cars and you know the autopilot systems in airplanes. So once we understand the capabilities and how it's going to improve our lives and how to some extent it's also going to augment our intelligence and help make us better, that's when we're going to be less scared. We always get scared of things that we don't understand. The second thing is we need to understand as well that we are limited in our capabilities today. Our brains can only compute so much data at a certain speed. Computers can do this so much better. So if we merge the human and the artificial intelligence algorithm, the, the smart algorithm that would help us take better decisions, do better uh, jobs, and be much smarter, I think that is the future that we've always been dreaming of. The future where the human is still the king of the jungle, but we are much more powerful because of these tools. What lessons can Dubai and the UAE teach the world when it comes to the regulation of AI? So the first lesson I would say is we are optimistic about the future of artificial intelligence, but we are cautious. So if there is any concern that might arise in the future, we are not worried to say, you know, these are the concerns that have come up. Come and help us. And we're working with everyone and anyone on this. We need to ensure that there is this collaborative approach, there is this open approach on AI, and that we develop this technology properly together. The, the main important thing about any development is if it's not done responsibly, if it is not cohesive and inclusive, it creates issues in the long term. So architectural development or urban development in the past and industrial development was done for very selfish reasons. My own country, my own economy, I'm going to do it for myself. Today we're facing something that requires all of us to work together. Climate change is something that we all need to work together at because we did not develop whatever we did before responsibly. With AI, if we develop it responsibly, the future is going to be much brighter. If we work together to ensure that this technology does not go in domains that harm people, to ensure that this technology, if there is any concern from it, gets combated not only in one country, but in all countries, that is where the future is going to be brighter. And I think, finally, because this technology is so intertwined with the World Wide Web and the smart systems that we have that control our lives today, they cross borders. So you can't just work on it on your own in a silo. You need to work with everyone. And that is the message that we hope, hope to send out to everyone. Hey everybody, it's Hadley Gamble from our new CNBC Middle East Bureau in Abu Dhabi. Thanks for stopping by. Now to watch more, you can try one of the videos that just popped up on your screen. And don't forget to subscribe.